I had actually always had a very strong like penchant for science. Um, so at, living in Japan, we lived in towers on base, right? So you're a military child. Yes. Yeah. So they're like, dude, guys, don't judge me. They had like <laughs> um, trash rooms downstairs. So we would always kind of like venture into there and picking stuff up, whether it's like, you know, chairs or something. But I ended up finding this science kit. So at the time, I was like in the third grade. I brought it upstairs to my mom. And she was actually kind of disgusted, so she made me throw it away. But I've always had, like, this liking for science. And then um, I was so ready to take chemistry in high school. So my junior year, I had a phenomenal chemistry teacher, Mrs. DuPont. She knows that. I actually saw her when I graduated from college at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I told her, like, she was the reason why I majored in chemistry. But the latter half of that is I actually struggle with math as a child. So I know what it's like to sit in a classroom and have literally no comprehension of what is going on. You're taking a test and you're guessing on everything. So that is why, like I said, I started my program, Science Exploration for Kids, mm -hmm. because everyone has a different way of learning. And that's an aspect I wanted to bring into classrooms, whether I'm teaching, you know, tutoring children and also just get kids geared up for STEM so they can like think of it like it's fun, get their imagination going, get their like methodical approach, like really just kind of like, you know, ready for anything that happens to them in life.